Hello everyone, welcome back to The Dan Show, and thank you for joining me. As always, I'm your host, Dan Owen. So, uh, what's going on, Leon? What are, what, are you, what are you doing here? What are you trying to accomplish? Yes, how do you know that I found the keyhole? I just returned. Okay. It locked it automatically. It didn't even need me. Alright, so each... What they're pretty much saying here is each star is a world... And they're all, you know, disappearing, so worlds are destroying, and we gotta find our friends and just go do it. Uh, talk to him twice, because he gives you Earthshine, I think it is. And then you'll actually talk about the subject matter at hand, too. But Earthshine is the first summon we get in this game, which is Simba. Uh, I haven't really used the summons, but I know they are huge in, like, the actual speedrunning community. So I'm gonna try to learn how to do them and maybe teach you as well probably not since i barely know how to use it myself but uh yeah so you're gonna go back out the way you came and we are going to go find uh our friend merlin the magician uh let's see here there's there's a lot that's actually happened since the well not since the last episode since i'm still in a recording session but uh the last episode i posted i guess episode four maybe sgdq happened E3 happened. I haven't mentioned either of those two yet, but, like, Jesus Christ, those are two, like, really big topics, I guess. So, uh, I, I guess I'll talk about some of my, my favorite things that I saw at E3 this year round, uh, even though we're, what, three weeks, four weeks past that now or something? I, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, all you have to do here is run over here and use fire, if that wasn't apparent on the door. Fire. Um... I think I, I don't watch Xbox anymore in Microsoft. I unfortunately, I don't know. I haven't played Xbox since the 360 when it first came out and there was the red ring and everything and I was more into fighting games so D-pad was where it was at on the PS4 and uh, yeah, that's that's what it ended up being. But Sony, oh yeah, a little cutscene here. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll let it wait. I'll let it sit. I'll let the boys discover the magic. There's something about this Oh. And Sora's just constantly hallucinating again. That's fine. That's okay. It reminds me of the secret With the door? Scribble's a good word, because I still don't know what the fuck that image was. <laughs> His face for a second just... What? Good music cut there. They're probably both just standing there like, What the fuck is he doing? Have you noticed this? He does it every single world. Well, well, well. What the fuck are you doing in my home? He's just, uh... Oh, are you serious? No, he's not a heartless. You fucking... God, Sora, you are an idiot. Change your clothes. <laughs> Jesus. Come on. You have to assemble your entire fucking... I wouldn't even call it a house, like a shack. This is the one thing that sucks that you can't skip. That you just gotta wait it out for, even if you're trying to speedrun. You gotta watch this old fucking wizard dance and move and set up his furniture. Crazy. Wow. Could have just done that from the start, too. Now, <clears throat> what were you saying? Alright, you can train me in magic. But I already know how to use magic. This place is primarily just used to uh, practice magic. You get unlimited MP, if I remember correctly. And uh, you can just do whatever you want. You just gotta talk to the dude, and then you can fight his furniture. But the main important thing is the fairy godmother over here. Because she is going to give you the summons in the game. Uh, so, if I could fucking control this camera angle. Give me Simba. I don't care about Cinder... Give me... Maybe I have to talk to Merlin first. Give me... Give me, give me Simba. No. What? 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 I'm, do I have to Trinity? No, I don't have to Trinity. Why did I do that? That's just going to give me something stupid. Oh, Mega Ether. Fantastic. I was like 90% positive that this is, oh, okay, maybe not. Never mind. Whatever. We'll do it without Simba or I'll just get it off camera. I'm actually really confused right now. What the hell? These stones are, oh, usually the bane of people's existences uh, because you can fall in the water and then, you know, they'll just block you off. Just like that, unfortunately. 
I was gonna say they're usually not that bad to make, but uh, apparently I am wrong. Oh my god, I didn't talk to Sid. I didn't talk to Sid. I fell. Oh, that was my mistake. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna talk to Sid. And then I don't know if I have to go back again. Uh, well, we'll find out. But if I need to, I'll just fix whatever fucking. Yeah, I was supposed to talk to Sid right after I came out here, actually. Oh, that's that's an annoying jump to make. Okay, I should've just gone up the regular way. I'm trying to be all fancy and it's not working out. That was random, but cool, thanks. Anyways, to get back to E3. Sony, Sony was good. I had been wowed by, you know, God of War that was already announced and Amazing Spider-Man that was already announced and fucking Uncharted shit, I think, that was already announced. I don't know. It, it honestly all kind of blends together. Sid. Hey. Yeah. What is it? I'm not kidding you. Just fucking... Did you just call me a pinhead? I saved your world. Dick. Yeah, hard feelings. Fucking Jesus. So you can go new places. This unlocks uh, the second, I guess... I don't even know what word I was trying to look for. Like, gravitational field of worlds? Because I just had that thought. I'm like, I mean, they're in kind of like, you know line with one another like they'd be rotating around something but there's nothing in the middle um they want you to go oh yeah yep yeah, i have to go take the book to merlin now oh <sighs> wow that's what you get for not checking what you're supposed to do one last time before you start the episode because i definitely mix those up so we're gonna go back to merlin's and i actually um i don't think i stepped on that save point too Man, I'm really kicking myself in the butt. I am losing a lot of time on this. It's supposed to be a quick in and out place to go, but uh, unfortunately it is not. So I will say the one thing that hyped me up about Sony. I know we're jumping back and forth between topics here, aka Kingdom Hearts and Sony. But man, I'm just getting distracted as fuck by where to go in Traverse Town. Thankfully this is, a, well no, we do come back here one last time to fight opposite armor. Which is the same thing as the first boss that you fought in here, but its arms and legs are just reversed now. Uh, it's really not that bad of a fight, but that's why we're gonna just do it later on. Plus, I'll probably need to power level at some point, for sure. Anyways, Sony. They announced Monster Hunter Worlds, which was fucking insane. Uh, take your goddamn book. I have been a fan of the Monster Hunter series for a very long time, and I've actually never played one on console. I know there were some on PS2, I think, but I am super fucking excited. If you're wondering what the book is, then uh, it's just Winnie the Pooh. It, it's like a thing in every single game where you can go in and fucking hang out with Pooh and become friends and do mini games and they're usually terrible. But, you know, you can do it if you want. If you really want to. And now we get fucking Simba, finally. So now we are back on track. Um... Like I said, I haven't used these before. Uh, I think they're pretty useful for just kind of like clearing out a wave real quick. And actually, I did that wrong. What you want to do is you want to run and tap this save point over here real quick. No, no, just let me do that. Okay. Um, just do it once because then you can save warp back over there in the future if you ever want to save time and just go practice magic or pick up a summon real quick, something like that. Uh, I'm really hoping I don't fuck these up this time. Okay. You don't have to do... Are you fucking serious? You don't have to do long jumps like I was doing. Uh, you can do short if you really want to try it. And cutscene. There we go. That's why I was really distracted earlier, because that shit's supposed to happen, and it was not. But it's our boy! There you are. And you just nonchalantly like, hey! You've been missing for days! Hey, hey, cut it out. I'm not dreaming this time. No, those are his right? crazy fucking pants. I hope not. It took forever to find you. Hey, where'd you get that badass sword? Riku. Wait a second. I thought she was with you. Isn't she with you? Fuck. Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it. Yeah, because the island was fucking destroyed. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. I highly doubt that. We'll all be together again soon. Don't you worry. seem too uppity about Just this. Just leave everything to me. I know this. 
That's one of his more badass moments. One of his only badass moments. Leave it to who? Hey, where the fuck did you get a key? Sora, uh, what did you... I've been looking for you, and Kyrie too. A They're duck? Not. And a... It, is that a fucking dog? Who are they? <laughs> We've visited so Thank many you, Sora. in the world, looking for you. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Sora is the keyblade. Oh, is that, is that what you get when you get a big key? A big old title? What's that mean? So, this is called a... Oh, that's pretty cool. Huh? Hey, give it back. Ooh. Catch. How do you just nonchalantly underhand toss a giant fucking metal key? Okay. You are a little Come boy! Us, right? What? We've got this awesome rocket. We that sounds sexual. What? Oh, come on. He's yeah, let him come on. Oh. oh. No, my boy. Riku? That's okay. Riku's kind of a shitter anyways, to be honest. I mean, he's your boy, but he's flaky. Okay. For sure. And who knows? Maybe we'll run into you know, you don't have to tap your foot. It's not like we're trying to go anywhere, asshole. Uh, take advantage of this opportunity while there aren't enemies in this to unlock this that you can magically unlock now since you're back, even though nothing's changed. Uh, and then Sid tells you to go into this house over here because that's where everyone's at. So you're going to talk to him. You're going to see what's up. And uh, he's going to let you know what's going on with the gummy pieces and Maleficent, I guess, because everyone just... How is she just nonchalantly in town? She's a witch. All right, yeah. Yeah, I get it. You guys got fucked up, and you need me to help you out. And then this dude named Ansem wrote reports about it all. Cool. Good to know. You see, it's just a Ooh, our boy's being used. While you toiled away trying to find your yeah, you were replaced. Friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new... Ah, oh, teen angst. Oof. Evidently. Now he values them far more than he does you. Look at him having a great time in that piece of shit place. You're better off without that wretched boy. Now think no more of him and come Sounds a little rapey. I hope you find what you're searching for. By look in his eyes. I'd say that's rapey. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, this is also a part, I guess, to mention in regular speedruns where uh, you will sell items you've acquired over time and you will change your gummy ship and you will make it faster. Uh, I don't know how much time it saves between all the gummy traveling, but I'm sure it's a lot. So if you want to, it's, I think, the Haste G and Fyra G that you buy from Sid. They're worth 1,200, but one of them gives you a crazy boost and then the other one just increases your regular speed, I believe. But yeah. So, uh, you know what, I'm just gonna end it here, and we'll pick it up, we're on our way to Agrabah, you know what, I'm actually gonna show you where you have to go real quick, cause you have to take a weird route. Uh, so, there's this thing right down here, and you wanna go there, so you actually have to, uh, take this route from Olympus to Tarzan, Deep Jungle, and, uh, you will skirt into that warp hole, and then you'll come out on the other side over here, and we'll be in Agrabah, so we will catch you next time, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye now.